Hey there YouTube, Whiskey Cactus here, welcoming you back to our Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Teal Mask and Indigo Disc DLC playthrough. This is episode number 19, and last time uh, we got all the way down here to the... where I think Terrapagos is, I'm pretty sure. Uh, also, off screen, what I did, is I got my Pokedex up to 200, so we will be able to go do Perrin's quest after we're done here. So let's head into this room and see what's going on with these clowns. Here I am. A Terra Orb. I think it's reacting to something. Huh? You're right. Mine is too. Picking up a truly astounding level of terrestrial energy. Seems to be coming from in there. Are we finally at the finish line? Hidden treasure. Hey, where do you think you're going? Oh, I can't wait another second. The truth behind the Violet Book is so close now. And not you two. God, they're so dumb. <laughs> yeah, I know, Carmine. I know. I know. Tell me about it. All right, here we go. Let's let's fucking do this. Here it goes. Here it goes. Hello. Yeah. Yeah, y'all looking around and shit. We're here. What is this place? Vibes here are on a totally different level. Hidden treasure, where is it? There, Kieran, up ahead, there's something among the pillow those pillars. Yeah, it's a sleeping turtle. Let him fucking sleep. He's tired. Like he's just he's just not even bothering anybody. Just fucking chilling out. You're gonna disturb his rest. If I can get the hidden treasure of Area Zero. I can finally beat Whiskey! Oh my god. Akiki, you're still going on about that nonsense. Shut it, sis. I'm doing the voice again. Whiskey has everything I've ever wanted. He's got strong Pokemon, he can go anywhere he wants, he can be friends with anyone. I loved Ogre Pond since forever ago, but even Ogre Pond chose him over me. But, Kiki, you did your best, too. Even you, sis. You were being all nasty toward him at first, but then, boom, you were like best friends in no time. M well, it's good to be nice to people, Kieran. <laughs> I've got nothing. I worked so hard, and for what? I still lost in the end. This... This is all I have now. Hey, adult, maybe you could be an adult for a minute and adult here, please, thank you. Found it. This crystal is definitely what we're looking for. Oh, God. <laughs> Way to read the room, Briar. Go on, Kieran. Pull with everything you've got. Show us the hidden treasure of Area Zero. Why are you encouraging him? Nope. Dude. Why, 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 there's no doubting it. This crystal must be Terrapagos. Yeah, well, he was snoozing, and now... Now you're waking him up, and he's gonna be all cranky. Yeah. There he is. Hey, buddy. Look at you. Big yawn. Who the fuck woke me up? Oh, you! Hello! <laughs> no, no, not again, no, fuck this. Master Ball, go. You're mine. Welp. There you go. That was Terrapagos. You caught it, right? Finally. Very well done, Kieran. The fact that you brought along a Master Ball tells me you were well prepared for this. <sighs> now I can study Terrapagos whenever I want, but there's no time like the present. Think you could give us a little demonstration of Terrapagos' power right now? Well, you heard her, Whiskey. I'm also itching to see what Terrapagos can do. 
Get ready so we can start. Dude, I am gonna bludgeon you to death with this fucking ogre pun on purpose, okay? This is how it's gonna go. You're gonna send out that Tarabagos, and I'm gonna beat it to death with my cudgel. Because Tarabagos uh, is great, but ogre pun has a vendetta against you, specifically. <laughs> and I'm here to enable my small child. Hope you've braced yourself. This time I'll definitely beat you, Whiskey. Carmine's in the back, just like, and then will you stop doing this stupid fucking voice? Alright. <laughs> yeah, it's Ogre Pond again. Yeah, I don't think so. Terra Shift. Oh, there he goes. He's turning into the little tchotchke. Yo, I love that for him. He's like, he's like a thing you buy when you're um, on vacation at the souvenir shop. <clears throat> and then you just kind of put him on a shelf. That's Terrapagos. Hey, dude. Hope you're ready to get clobbered. <laughs> Hope you're ready for clobbering. Because I'm going I'm to clobber you right quick. High ya and low ya. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know it's not going to be very effective. I know. It's fine. Bop. Still does a shitload. Don't earth power me. It's rude. Ow. Fuck. There's a crit. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. Let's horn leech and get some uh, health back. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the hero of this story? Actually, yes. That is correct. Hmm. I wonder. Don't earth power. That's rude. No, don't kill Ogre Pond. Man. I bet you like that. I bet that makes you happy, Kieran. I bet you want to take Ogre Pond to... Fucking. Mm. You just know. You just know that's how it is. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're not good at this, Kieran. <laughs> Why? I thought if I just had Terrapagos, if I had the hidden treasure of Area Zero, it, it's because you don't have any love for your Pokemon. You just treat them as tools of battle. You're silver. You're no different than silver. That's why your Golbat doesn't evolve into a Crobat. Until after you realize that you've been mean to your Pokemon. Kiki, that's enough. It's time to stop this. No, something's not right. This terrestrial energy output is far too low. Not to mention the fact that it looks different from the illustration in the Violet Book. So Terrapagos isn't the hidden treasure of Area Zero? I wasted my Master Ball on this failure? No, I'm sure it is. We must be missing something. A way to transform it into the treasure. It's like, dude, I was sleeping, man. What? What? <laughs> of course, Terrapagos is made of terrestrial energy. Kieran, you must terrestrialize Terrapagos this instant. It's like, dude, I just want to go back to bed, man. Come on. All right. Here goes. He's going to do the thing. Gonna do the thing. I knew it. The Violet Book was right. Terrapagos in its fully awakened form. This is the hidden treasure of Area Zero. 
a little turtle with an even littler turtle on top of him. Oh boy. Um. Yeah, I just saved your ass again. Uh oh. Things are getting out of hand, Kiki. You should return Tarapagos to its ball. Okay. Come back, Tarapagos. It's like, bitch, I was sleeping. <laughs> you woke me up from my nap. Yeah? Alright, Kieran, I guess it's my turn to clean up your fucking mess again. Merity! Wait, is Ogre Pond dead? They didn't heal me? Um, shit. Well, I would like for Ogre Pond to get revived. Yeah, it kinda is. A little bit. Alright, so... Huh. I would like to revive Ogre Pond. Got a max revive on Ogre Pond. I really would prefer that. Because I feel like Ogre Pond's going to be important. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate the rage powder. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter, but... <laughs> Appreciate the attempt. It's fine. Merity is nice and bulky. She should be decently okay. We're gonna go ahead and, uh... Let's just go for the hyper voice, I think. We'll let her do whatever damage she can get off before she gets dropped. Matcha gotcha is good. Get a little tiny baby bit of recovery. Eh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, yeah, I know that. I. Oh, it's not like a raid. I can just do it, right? I can just go ahead and do it. I I'm here thinking I need to attack it like three times first. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It is like a raid. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, this is not going to be great. So I guess we'll just keep going for Hyper Voice. We could go Moonblast, but I think Hyper Voice is stronger. Alright, unfortunately with Sinistra down, I'm going to be taking more damage from the, ma uh, the Star Fall thing. Yeah, this this is a pain. Um, I would not have preferred to lead with uh, Primarina. That was not ideal, but it's fine. Yeah, I could, um, I could go for a max potion or something. Is that what we want to do? I think I do. I think I want to do that. Because I know I can live at least one more. It's going to be stronger now because it's a single target. Oh, he's going for Zen Headbutt. Alright. Ooh. Alright, in that case, I probably want to let Merity go down, right? I don't want to waste my Terra on this. Yeah, I don't think I want to waste Terra. This is going to do a lot. Yeah. So we'll just get Chip. Get some Chip. We might survive this next hit, but I doubt it. I'm not going to heal again. This would be a perfect opportunity for Annihilate. <laughs> Although it's it's technically normal type, right? So Rage Fist won't work. Or does that not... Does that not um, apply? I don't know. I don't remember how this works. I think he's just normal type. Can I see... Are you normal? Doesn't show. Alright. Uh, 
Alright, go for hyper voice again. I'm not gonna get to go. That's fine. I think we bring in We bring in nine tails. I think we go nine tails. Let's go nine tails. We'll set up the snow. We'll set up maybe we'll set up an Aurora Veil. Vale. Hmm. Now nah, let's just go Blizzard. Let's go for damage. God, I love a little nine tails. <laughs> Look how good this Pokemon looks. So good. There you go. And we got the freeze. Is it gonna stay frozen though, or is this gonna like Is it gonna like unfreeze here? Absorbs terrestrial energy, destroys my Terra, that's alright. Yep. And it's gonna put up another shield. Now if it's frozen. Now it sh it shakes off the freeze, right? Mm. Whiskey's doing all the work as usual. <clears throat> it's no good, I'm useless. Eh. Alright, fine. Um Tempted to set up an Aurora Veil now. I think this is a good opportunity to do that. Try to mitigate some damage. Although we're pretty frail, so this is gonna still do a lot. It's not terrible. Alright, Blizzard. Be able to live this. Yep. Blizzard. Nine tails goes down. We bring in Gold Steel. Still got the snow up a little bit, and we still got protection from Aurora Veil for like another couple of turns. I think we have to lock into a move here, right? So we want to we want to lock into ice because this is uh, Terra Ice. Yeah, okay. So we definitely want to lock into this. All right. Here goes, motherfucker. Man, I wish ice types were good. Such a cool type. <laughs> Beautiful. Sure did. Surely you can't keep doing that over and over. Well, it can, as long as it has HP. <clears throat> Whiskey's in trouble. You need to help him, Kiki. You lazy piece of shit. <laughs> I can't help anyone. Come on, Kieran. Head in the game, man. <clears throat> Alright, dude. Here he is. A drapple. Hell yeah. <sighs> Alright, well, we still got the snow up. We still have the Aurora Veil. For, I think, like, one, one more turn, probably. Honestly, better late than never, I guess. Snow stopped. Boo! That's alright. We're still we should still be fast. Um, we're locked in because it's a choice band. 
Oof. Earth power. Ow. Ow. Nice. Use that syrup bomb, get that speed down. Love to see it. All right, ice spinner again. This should get my attack count up to enough where I can, I should be able to Terra on my next person in. So who's coming in next? I'm gonna save Ogre Pond for the end, I think. Unless we don't need to. Uh, who are we gonna bring in? Could probably go Annihilate, honestly. I think Annihilate is probably gonna be pretty good here. Especially now that its, it's speed's been cut. Go ahead and Drain Punch. And now next turn we should be able to Terra. Not sure what I'm what I'm terrid though. Hell yeah. We're gonna crit city. Oh, that's that's not great. <laughs> Alright. Very good. Uh we are Terra fighting good. I didn't really want to go Rage Fist. Yeah, when I set up these Pokemon, I didn't bother to deal with their Terra types because I figured I wasn't going to really need it. So we just get what we get. Boom. Fickle Beam, hell yeah. That's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a bit. Ow. Ow. Owie. Go for another Drain Punch. Nice. Alright, last... Last one. What's going on, buddy? Getting tired? Still cranky from your, uh... Being woken up from your nap. Time to end this. You have my permission to go all out. Well, we were waiting for that. That's why we were holding back. I love the remix of the raid music here. It's great. Here we go. You want to you wanna do it, Kieran? You want to finish him? I held back enough so that you could finish him. I'm lying, I didn't do that. Super effective. Boom. Alright, now the important question is what ball are we catching him in? Maybe he'll go inside a ball now. Catch. Now I can count on you, Whiskey. You got this. What ball are we putting Terrapagos in? Safari ball? Dream ball? I've got two dream balls. Could do a dream ball. I don't know. There's not really one that goes with him. Could do a premier ball. I do like premier balls. This one I'm gonna I'm gonna use for Petra Run, so I'm not gonna use it for Tropicus. I think I'm just gonna put him in a Premier Ball. I do love me some Premier Balls and Legendary Normal type. Yeah, it fits. All White Ball. There we go. Get in the ball, buddy. Click. It, 
Is it over? Is everyone okay? Uh, yeah, no thanks to you. We're fine, don't worry. Thank goodness, what a relief. Hmm. I let my obsession lead you all into a very dangerous situation. <laughs> yeah, you did. You probably should be fired. It's simply inexcusable. I'm so sorry, everyone. You should be. Thank you. Completely fixated on this terrestrial stuff. Gotta keep your obsessiveness in check. Yes, you're absolutely right. I messed up, too. Looked up to Whiskey for so long. I wanted to be like him so, so badly. Didn't know what else to do. But I guess I just don't have it in me to be like him after all. Finally, finally I can let it go. Don't sell yourself short, dude. But I just... Wah. I swear, I've got such a silly younger brother. Finally let it go. Wah. <laughs> she must have been so scared. But you all shone brilliantly just now. You were truly dazzling. Wah. <laughs> and in the end, our whiskey even managed to catch Terrapagos. So I think we can consider our little expedition into Area Zero good and finished. Time to head back to Blueberry Academy. Wah. Oh, I gotta get ready to mute this. <clears throat> oh, I can just cut it out, because I'm not streaming. Need to get in touch with Gita. No st yep. Hey, Whiskey. Uh, look, I know I caused a lot of trouble for the League Club and everyone. I wanted to give everybody a proper apology. Including you, Whiskey. So I'm sorry for being a total dick. <laughs> Guess what I'm trying to say is... I want to make things right. And so do you think? We could start over from zero and be friends again? Yeah, I think so. Hey. I'm gonna leave you two behind if you don't hurry up. There you go. <clears throat> And that is the end of the story, kind of, sort of. There's still the epilogue. But uh, I am going to meet you after I cut out these credits because this is copyrighted music. So I will see you in a second. Here we are, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. <clears throat> the end. Look at us. Look at us biffies. Yeah. Well, here we are. Now, there's one other thing I want to do. Well, never mind. <laughs> Whiskey. Got important things. You're important. All right, so we actually need Terrapagos. I want Terrapagos here. Even though I don't want to give him fucking... Uh, EVs and shit, but you can you can chill. You can chill in the club here for now. I would like to go to the classroom that I'm required to be in right now. Hey. <clears throat> hey, Whiskey, glad to see you. You feeling rested and recovered? Yeah, uh, sure. <laughs> Youth is an enviable thing. Uh-huh, yeah. Well, how do you still have a job? I wonder why I called you here. Since I returned, I've been writing up everything we discovered on our expedition. Honestly, I've hardly slept. I obtained Gita's permission to turn it all into a book, but don't worry. I made sure to skip a few details and omit the names of those involved. So voila. Here we go. I got a copy of Briar's book. It is a white book. Look at this white book that a child has been given. I wonder if that relates to anything that we wrote down in our notebooks earlier. Uh, I would love to see the Terra Orb. Do the do your magic here. This is great. 
Yup. We directly exposed the energy from Terrapagos. Now we can terrestrialize without charging. It's fucking great. Yeah. You know the terrarium core? Uh huh. Well, uh, yeah, it's a. Mm hmm. The crystal pool in Kitakami. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Maybe, maybe you should. Yeah, maybe we should. Uh, yeah. Pokemon shining in rainbow colors have started appearing all over the terrarium. That's super dope. I'm so happy for you. Man in a blue suit. Mm hmm. He wants to give you candy that'll help you find some legendary Pokemon. Which we're not going to do on this series. What I am going to do, though, is we're going to go a little bit longer. Because it's actually... I'm cutting out like five minutes of credits. So... Amaris is here. This is good. I want to go talk to her. Because she's going to allow me to fly permanently. Which I definitely would like that. Hello. <clears throat> Whiskey. My thanks. Mm-hmm. She became champion. Kieran withdrew himself entirely from my ranking system. Though I consider this somewhat sad. It's not as if he got he and I can no longer meet. You should just ask him out, Amaris, please. <laughs> Thank you. Permanent flight. We love it. We love it. Agius. Sweet. Yeah, my Agius has powered up. Sweet. Yeah, d don't bother. Who cares? <laughs> you get like 5 BP for doing those. And I think it's like a one-time thing. <laughs> it's so it's so pointless. Alright, so I think we're good here. I don't think we need to go anywhere else at the moment. We club room, don't really care about that. Let's go to the entrance. I would like to go to Kitakami. I would like to go to Kitakami. And I'm going to do a thing that I don't like to do, which is save before I'm finished recording. So I would like to save. Now, do we remember what we read in the Under Depths? Told you to take notes on that. So I'm going to bank on you having taken notes on that and remembering what was written there. Here we go. buddy. Terra Lumi. Well now, this is a curious development. Have I somehow broken through the boundaries of space-time? And who are you? Professor? Have we met? And if so, I'm sorry, but I don't seem to recall it. I'm Professor Turo. I research Pokemon in Area Zero, and yet... Ah, yes. What? This Pokemon, is this the Iron Serpent? This is Maridon. Is that right? So its name is Maridon. That's a good name. I think I will use that from now on. And claim it as me, having named him. <clears throat> from the clues you've already let slip, I suppose I would have to conclude, from my perspective, this must be the future. Though, of course, the complexities of space-time are beyond count. It's possible that our encounter might not even be occurring in a timeline connected to my own. Perhaps this meeting is nothing more than a fleeting miracle. Why don't we exchange as much useful data as we can, 
and what little time that fate has gifted us. Alright. Hey, bud. What do you think about all this? <laughs> yeah, I bet. Is there anything you would like to ask me? Why are you here? I don't precisely know the cause. I was analyzing some recent data in my secret lab one moment, and the next I was standing here before you. Perhaps this is the influence of the crystal Pokemon that lies dormant in that place, or perhaps the cause lies with you and I. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? What are you studying? I am researching methods to catch Pokemon that live in different timelines, so I might transport them to the present day in my own timeline. Sounds fantastical, no doubt, but I am drafting plans now for a machine that may achieve it. See, this book captured my imagination when I read it as a child and has never let go. But progress has been slow and beset by failures. I haven't left my lab in quite some time now. Desperately hope I might glean some new insight from this conversation so I can finally make some progress and return home. What about your family? You know, your son? Oh, you even wish to know about my private life. I do have a family, a son. He's probably at home right now. Well, no, I suppose right now could be inaccurate. Whenever and wherever he is, I imagine he must be quite lonely. Now, let us trade places in this exchange. I'd say the time has come for my own questions. What is this place? It doesn't appear to be anywhere in Paldea. This is the land of Kitakami. So we're at Kitakami's Crystal Pool, eh? I remember reading about it in certain texts. It's said to be a place where water wells up from the ground imbued with terrestrial energy. It seems that I've been shifted quite far in both space and time. My next question, then. What Pokemon you have? The Iron Serpent. I mean, where I don't. Tell me more about it. Precious Partner. Yes, well, your personal attachment to the creature has no meaningful relevance to the... No, forgive me, perhaps that was rude. <laughs> hey, man. That book you have there, I don't recognize its cover. What is it? Hidden Treasure of Area Zero. Oh, would you let me see that for just a moment? Yeah, this white book that I, as a child, am going to give to you. In a place that is surrounded by water and, like, a crystal pool thing. Descriptions of the Area Zero Underdepths and, and a record of Terrapagos' awakening. Who is this briar to have written such a work? She's a descendant of Heath. Yeah? Now isn't that something? A descendant of the author of the original Violet book. Exploration runs in the family, I see. At any rate, that is a book that would ignite the imagination of any true scientist, I'm sorry, but I simply must have the time to read this book more thoroughly. Welp. Oh, the mist is closing in once again. I assume that means our time is near its end. Wish I could spend longer getting to know the Iron Serpent, but I must hurry. That book. Imagine it must be quite valuable. It wouldn't feel right for me to claim it without offering you any recompense. In exchange, then, I though I hate to part with something so precious to me, would you consider trading me that book for my copy of the Violet Book? Sure. To fulfill the prophecy. Appreciate this more than you can imagine. Perhaps I should take this chance to go home and enjoy a bit of downtime with a good book. This is where we part, fellow adventurer and Iron Serpent. How lucky we were to meet across space and time. Bid you adieu. Yeah, I'll tell Arvin you said hi. That was fucking weird, right? There we have it. Oh, hey! I just wanted to do some, some light reading. While investigating the hidden treasure, I found myself suddenly transported to a great height near a lake that smelled of sulfur. Based on temperature and humidity, I believe it to have been the eastern lands I've read so much about before. And there, a child gave me a white volume. 
That's so weird that he wrote that all that time ago. Isn't that weird? That's so weird. Well, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and make sure you're subscribed for more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Teal Mask Indigo Disc DLC. We have a few more things to do still. We got to do Perrin's Quest and then we got to do the epilogue. So next time we're going to be doing Perrin's Quest and I will get some Pokeballs in the, uh, in the between time and uh, meet you back in the Terrarium. So hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I will see you then. Goodbye.